Good morning. We are back. You are just doing uh, Drums Alive with me. We're all nice and warmed up. And we're ready for our Pilates yoga combination class. We're going to start out with Pilates. That will continue to keep our body warmed up and get us focusing on our core. And then we'll finish off with some nice yoga to take us through the rest of our day. Remember, think about Pilates and yoga like a journey. Don't try to get them all done in one day. Every day we do Pilates or yoga is a different day. So we listen to our bodies. We do what works best for us. We take breaks when we need to. Things to remember in Pilates, we want to make sure that we use our abdominals as our primary source of power, not the lower back. If you feel your lower back stressing, you need to take a Follow the line of the body. So as you engage the ab abdominals and you lift yourself up into that C-shaped position, your head and neck should follow. Tension there means you take a rest, regroup, and come back in. Focus on good breathing. All right, if I happen to say inhale and you exhale, as long as you're breathing, I'm happy. Eventually, you'll figure out the breathing. We're going to start out in a state of relaxation. So let's go down onto our mats. Let your arms be restful at your sides, palms to the sky. I want you to close your eyes, and we're going to breathe in through the nose. A nice full expansion of the belly back and the rib cage. And then as we exhale out, I want you to breathe out through the mouth. Shh. While we continue to bring, we're bringing a breathe, we're bringing awareness to the arms. I want you to simply stretch your arms from your shoulders to your fingertips. Keep the rest of your body from tensing. Now let the arms go soft and do the same with your legs. We're going to stretch your legs from our hips to our heels. So really push out through those heels, tighten the legs, keeping the rest of the body relaxed, continuing to breathe. And then let your legs go soft. Next, we're going to focus in on the belly, and we're going to control it just like any other voluntary muscle in the body. We're going to draw down on the back side of your navel, hold it tight to your spine without holding your breath, without tensing your body. And then let it release. Try again, navel to spine, hold it in nice and tight. And let it release. Try that once again, navel to spine. So we're going to do this a lot during class today. And then let it release. Next, inhale the arms skyward as we exhale, let's reach behind us. Stretch out your fingers, push out through your heels. Ah, nice long stretch. Spread your fingers wide, spread your toes out really wide. And then let everything go soft. Let the arms rise again. Exhale, return them to your sides. Once there, we're gonna pull the left knee in as close to the body as we can. Use your hands to really hug it in tightly and feel that nice stretch in the gluteal. Flex and point that foot, work from your heel to your toes. Draw an easy circle around with your ankle. And then let's reverse. And then allow your foot to rest. Go ahead and switch the legs. Same thing, we start with a nice close hug and then proceed to point and flex. And then make that easy circle around. And reverse. And then again, just rest your foot. Now bring both knees in as close as you can. Give yourself a tight hug. While there, rock gently side to side, massaging either side of your spine. Come back to neutral and circle both knees around and around. And then let's reverse those circles. And then just hug the knees in nice and tight. From there, tighten the belly, press through the back of your ribs, and round up nose to knees, to the chest. Let's roll back down and release. Try again, tighten the belly, round up nose to knees to the chest. And release. Once again, tightening the belly, rounding up nose to knees 
chin and chest. So this is our C shape. We're gonna remain there, triangle shape, light be on the back of your head. Elbows wide, knees apart, heels together, toes apart. Inhale, push the legs out straight. Exhale back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue that for two and one. Now as we push out, bring big toes together, heels apart. Pull back, heels together, toes apart. So we've got an arrowhead and a V. Arrowhead, V. Arrowhead, V. Arrowhead, V. Arrowhead, two more. Arrowhead, one more. Arrowhead, and V. Bring knees and feet together, scrunching your toes. Cross through arches. Pull back in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue, but flex your feet. Press and pull. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more. Inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Now just extend the legs and let's plant and flex those feet. Four, three, two, and one. Hold there. Stretch your arms alongside your body off the mat. Let's flip the left palm over and the right palm still facing up. Level two modified by bending the knees. Level one, you can rest your feet on the mat. We're gonna start to pump the arms, inhaling for five pumps, and then exhaling for five pumps. After that, flip your hands. Inhale for five pumps, and exhale for five pumps. Switch again. Switch. 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 Hold up. Chuck the knees in. Woo, rest your head down and breathe. All right, let's move into our roll-ups. So from here, we're gonna keep the legs pressed together, feet flat on the floor, arms behind our shoulders, relaxed on the mat. First, we inhale and lift the arms. As we exhale, we drop the shoulders, scoop the belly and roll ourselves up as far as we can come up. Another big inhale and exhale equally as smoothly, we roll back into the mat. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, shoulders drop, scooping the belly and peel up as far as we can come up. Inhale, and then exhale back down. Now, notice that spot. Inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, you feel like you have to ooh, work a little bit harder to get yourself past that tough spot. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll down. I want you to really focus on tightening the belly in that spot. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back, exhale, tighten the belly, peeling you up as far as you can come up, inhale, and then exhale, we roll back down. Try again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, exhale, using the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can, inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll down. Now, if you're confident that you're not using your legs to do this, try stretching them straight. Inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, exhale, using your belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can reach, Inhale, exhale, tuck, and we press back down. Again, inhale, arms up, drop the shoulders back. Exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Couple more sets, inhale, arms up, shoulders are dropped. Exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll down. How about once more, inhale with both arms, Shoulders drop back, exhale, use the belly to peel you up, stretch as far as you can go. Inhale, and then exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Once you're back down, ah, stretch it out, push out through those feet, and then feel your body relax. Good, now let's bring knees back into our chest. Tightening the belly, we're gonna round ourselves back up into our C sheet. Arms at your sides, off the mat, palms to the sky. Now bend the elbows so fingertips meet shoulders. Gonna inhale, arms and legs out straight, open, close your legs. Exhale, tuck your knees and then bend your elbows. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend and bend. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend, bend. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend, bend. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend, 
bend, inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend. Try one more, inhale, push, open, close, exhale, bend, and bend. Now tuck the knees back in, rest your head down, and breathe. All right, very good. Now let's move into some leg circles. So we're gonna remain nice and flat on the mat. You can keep your right knee bent, foot on the mat, extend your left leg towards the sky, or you can push your right leg out straight. Arms at your sides, palms to the sky. We're gonna cross that left leg towards the right, circle out and up. So I want you to make your circles about the size of a large beach ball. And keep them on the ceiling directly above you. Think about really crossing over towards the midline of the body. And when the leg sweeps back out, it does not go wider than the hip. Keep that nice, stable movement. Let's do one more circle. And now go the other way. So it's out first and then in and up. And again, we're really accentuating that pulling towards the midline of the body. Last two. One more and hold right there. Now bring both legs together. Toes in, heels out. So I call this the reverse Pilates turnout. Inhale, drop halfway, exhale, sweep around legs together. Inhale down, exhale around, inhale down. Two more, make sure you're not feeling this in low back. Hold right there, and now we'll switch. So now let's set that left foot down, knee bent, or push it out straight. Right leg crosses, left circles out and up. Drawing those nice, large beach balls on the ceiling. Last two. And one. Now go the other way out first and then in and up. Last two. And one more. Pull the leg up nice and strong, add the other leg. This time the legs sweep around, they pull together. Exhale, come up, inhale around. Again, using the belly here, not that lower back. Last two, one more, and hold the legs up. Now, both legs circle left, come around and up and then to the right, around and up. These circles are smaller. Think about the size of a basketball. On the ceiling directly above you, rest of the body pressed into the mat. Here's our last set, last circle. And hold right there. Good. Tuck your knees in. Ah, breathe. Nice. From there, let's go ahead and roll up. And once we're up, let's move into spine stretch. This one I love because it really wakes up your spine. So we're going to sit nice and tall and straight. Perhaps you need to insert a rolled up mat or a pillow under your hips so that you can maintain really straight legs while maintaining a straight spine. Push out through the heels of your feet so you're activating the legs. Arms extend out in front, shoulder level, palms facing up. We're going to inhale in preparation. Now on the exhale, start tightening the belly. And while that's happening, you're going to round your spine. So think about really pulling back so you look like a horseshoe. Notice shoulders remain over hips and arms have not dropped. Now inhale, stack back up, lower, middle, upper spine. And I want you to feel taller than when you went down. So we exhale, scoop in deeply, rounding the spine, turning into that nice C shape. And then inhale, lifting up, lower, middle, upper spine, head. Try again, exhale, scooping the belly and round out your spine, dropping chin to your chest. Push out through fingers and feet. And then inhale, lift back up, lower, 
middle, upper spine, and head. Exhale again, scooping the belly and round out your spine. Drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. And then inhale, lift back up lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Exhale, scooping inward, round the spine, drop your chin to your chest, push up through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Now let the arms slow down. Do a couple shoulder rolls back front. Very good. You can remove that elevation. Let's bring the legs closer together, and then let's bend the knees. We're going to bring our thighs really close to the body. I want you to scoop the belly in and find your balance on your tailbone. Meanwhile, we're going to relax the shoulders, let your chin fall to your chest, and think about tucking your nose between your knees. So basically, we're turning ourselves into a nice tight little ball. Level two, same thing, but you can bring your hands across your shins. So using only the belly to pull us back, and only the belly to get us back up again. You can do these at your own pace. But I want you to really focus on tightening the belly to pull you back. And then I got to tighten it even more to get you back up. Let's all try one more. Once we've completed our final roll, we're going to stay all tucked in, but let's extend the right leg out straight, keep the left knee in, and then roll back until you're on the base of your shoulder blades and you're pulling down through the belly, so you're in that C shape. Place your right hand atop top your left knee, left hand atop top, right ankle, left ankle elbows wide, and we alternate. Knee to chest, toes to wall. Reach, reach, reach reach or three two hold there switch hold switch hold one more switch hold good now let's do double leg stretch so we've got both knees tucked in hands could be resting on your ankles maybe up here on your shins or down there in the tops of your feet as we in you start reaching up with the arms now stretch the arms and the legs out exhale let the arms sweep around and the knees tuck back in so it's inhale stretch exhale pull Last two, one more, and hold right there. Good, now it's straight single leg stretch. So we simply extend the left leg towards the sky, hands reaching to your ankle or calf. Don't hold behind the knee or lower than the knee. Our right leg goes up to join it. Now we start drawing the left leg towards your face and pulling the right leg away from your face without forcing or yanking, and then we switch. Last four, last three, last two, and one. Now let's bring both legs together, all right? Thumb and index finger triangles. You can rest your head down for a moment. Level one, insert triangle under your tailbone and butt. That's gonna help your lower back. And belly level two, we're gonna place that on the back of our head, elbows wide. Everybody up into your C shape. Inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, snap the legs up without lifting your butt. So it's inhale, lower. Last two. One more. Hold up. Good. From there, let's all bring knees to chest. Everybody, hands behind the head. We're up in our C shape. Left knee and right leg out. We'll start with just the legs. In, in. Noticing that your hips don't move. Four, three, two. Stay a little higher. Bring opposite armpit across to the knee. Then we switch. Lift twist. Lift twist. Lift twist. Make sure that you're lifting first and then adding the twist. 
keeping the elbows nice and wide and not moving your hips. Let's go a little quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Switch hold, switch hold, last one. Switch hold, tuck your knees in, rest your head down and breathe. Very good, how about a couple knee circles around and around and then go ahead and go the other way. Now rest your feet down on the mat. Let's open the arms wide. Drop both of your knees left as we look right. Come back up. Drop both of your knees right and look left. Good, and then we're back to neutral. Let's bring the arms in closer. We're keeping our feet on the floor, but now we're gonna make sure they're apart, no wider than our hips. Toes in slightly, heels out slightly. And keep enough space between your gluteals and your heels that when we bridge up, we're feeling it here and the glutes. We're not feeling it in the top of our thighs or our knees. All right, so inhaling, we're slowly peeling off the back. Crossing and holding without feeling any weight in the neck. And then exhale equally as smoothly, we're back down. Again, let's tighten the belly and slowly come up. Holding on to that bridge, and then exhale, making your way back down. Tightening the belly, we're slowly peeling up. Holding on to that bridge, and making our way back down. Again, let's tighten the belly and slowly peel up. Now let's sustain our bridge. But pull the left knee in and stretch it up straight to the sky. Get a lower lift, flex, point, down, up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more, inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, stay up and draw a little circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big hold. Flex your heel, drag it all the way down. Slide your foot back into place. Press your hips a little higher, hold it, and then we'll switch legs. So now the left leg or right leg extends, lower lift, down, up, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, four, and three, and two, and one. Stay up, a little higher, circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, big hold. Good, now bend your knees, place your foot back down. Press your hips a little more. Good, hold them up there. Now inhale, reach the arms to the sky. And then as you exhale, let's melt down again, one vertebra at a time. And once we've made it all the way back down, we're gonna tuck our knees in close to the body. Ah, give yourself that hug. Let's do a few rocks side to side. And then hold to neutral and we'll circle our knees around. And then let's go the other way. Good, now I want you to begin to separate your knees, keep your big toes touching. Press your thighs close to your ribs. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Now try opening your knees a little wider and let the soles of your feet press together. Pull your heels closer to your body. Breathing into your inner thighs and your outer hips. From there, we're going to separate the feet. Push your flat feet towards the sky, but pull down with your hands. So we're going to keep the knees bent. We're pulling down with the hands and pushing up with the feet. And then let's push the legs out wider and straighter. We're going to bring the soles of our feet back together. And then from there, we'll bring the knees back together. Let's cross at our ankles, hook around our big toes. Tighten your belly, press to the back of the ribs. Bring yourself up in your C shape. And then on your exhale, we're going to roll all the way up. Good. And then once we've made it up, we're in our cross leg position. 
Let palms open face to the sky. Relax shoulders from ears. Breathe. I'm trying now transitioning from to all nostril breathing. Let your chin drop to your chest. You feel an easy stretch in the back of your neck. Lift the head. Turn your eyes to look over your right shoulder. Come back to neutral. Turn your eyes to look left. And then come back to neutral. Again, drop your chin against your chest. Now inhale, lift the head to back, open the throat. Try again, exhale, dropping the chin down. Inhale, lift to back, open your throat. Again, exhale, drop your chin to your chest. And then bring your head back to that neutral place. Try tucking your shoulders up into your ears. Letting them fall away. Try again, tucking shoulders into ears. And let them fall away. Once more, tucking shoulders into ears. And let them fall away. Good, now let's place our hands together at heart center and really press your palms one against the other. And then while you're doing that, spread your fingers wide and press your fingertips against one another. Relax a little bit, we'll lace our fingers and push our palms away from our body. Turn your palms to face you, pressing through the back of your hands. Breathe across upper back and back of shoulders. Turn the palms to face away once again, and now I want you to inhale, start pressing palms towards the sky. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening out of your waist. And the side bend a little bit to our left. Inhale back up and side bend to your right. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, lift. And exhale, side bend right. And then inhale, lift back up. And the arms come down. Once down, shoulder rolls back to foot. Increasing the size of our circles. Good. And then just hold your arms out nice and wide. Push out through the heels of your hands and point your fingertips towards the floor. Flip them over, pull your fingertips down. And then just shake out your hands a little bit and let your fingertips come back down. We'll take one more inhale in our seated position. Exhale, let's transition onto hands and knees. So whatever way works for you to get to hands and knees, that's what we do. Once we found our place on hands and knees, we wanna make sure our fingers are widespread. We've got our hands turned in slightly. We're pressing down through second, third, and fourth finger knuckle area on each hand. So whenever we're doing weight bearing into our hands, this is our hand position. So I'm gonna call this foundational hands. Press down to the tops of your feet. You've got your hips square over your knees. We've got a nice straight line from our tailbone to the top of our head. Now as we inhale, start sinking your navel, lifting your tailbone, lifting your head as you open your heart for cow. Exhale, scoop in deeply and round up for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Once more, inhale, cow. And exhale, round, cat. Now make your way back to that neutral place. Let's tuck our toes under and start pushing tailbone towards the sky. Allow your head to drop through your arms. Feel your rib cage pulling closer to your thighs and the back of your shoulder blades reaching towards your gluteals. Let's nod the head, yes. And then we'll shake it, no. And then just hang out here and let's walk our dog a few times. So we're simply lifting and lowering each heel individually. And then let's rise up onto the balls of both feet and press your heels down. 
From there, let's inhale ourselves into a good sturdy plank. So we've got belly button tight. We've still got those good foundational hands. Do not squeeze your butt cheeks together. Exhale back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Once more, inhale to plank. Modify to your knees. We're gonna lower elbows wide, chest down, hips down. Now elbows tuck in. Inhale, press through those hip bones, press through the tops of the feet, lengthen your spine, and rise into cobra. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Once more, exhale, going down. Tuck in and inhale, rise up. Now we're gonna push all the way back so your tailbone meets your heels. Forehead meets the mat. Spread your knees apart so that your chest can actually drop through your knees. Reach out through your fingertips and let your palms rotate towards the sky. Feeling the stretch going deeper down the sides of your body. Flip your palms back over into those foundational hands. Tuck the toes and we make our way back up into downward facing dog. A few more walks of our dog. Raising up both heels and then pressing them back down. Now I want you to take your right leg and try extending it behind you and reaching it towards the sky. That becomes three-legged dog. And then we're going to take that right foot, step it between your hands. And we're going to make sure the knee is over the ankle, our eyes are looking out, we're pushing up through the heel of our left foot. There's runner's lunge. It'll be nice and stable and sturdy. Now let's drop down onto the left knee and the top of our left foot. Reach towards the sky, that becomes crescent moon. As your arms go wide, let's rotate to our left, looking out over that right palm. And then bring your right hand to the mat and stretch that left hand to the sky. As we exhale, we'll bring the hand back down. Reposition both hands, tuck your toes, lift the neck, left knee, we're back into lunge. And then let's step the right foot back, returning to our nice straight plank. Modify, lower, tuck the elbows, inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck, uh, push back into extended child's pose. Foundational hands, tuck your toes, lift your tailbone. We're back up into downward facing dog. A few more walks of those dogs. Raising both heels, pressing them back down. Now let's take the left leg, extend through the heel, reach to the sky. Three legged dog. Step that foot forward between your hands bringing us into our lunge. So check that your left knee is over your ankle. Eyes are looking out, pushing out through the heel of your right foot. Now let the right knee sink down, press through the top of the right foot. Reach to the sky, press it on. Arms go wide, rotate at the waist. We're looking out over that left hand. Bring the hand down, extend the right arm high. Exhale back around, tuck your toes, lift the knee, we're back in lunge. Now let's step the right foot forward, let your big toes come close with your heels apart, sink your ribs against your thighs, let your head drop, lower them. Inhale, let's begin to roll up, raise high, touch the sky, exhale to the heart. Inhale, extend, and exhale back down. Inhale, extend, exhale. This time we're gonna fold forward. And inhale, look out with a nice flat back, and then exhale, sink deeper down. Let's step back with the right foot, bringing us into our lunge. From there, we're gonna walk ourselves around into straddle, so we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Once there, again, inhale with our flat back, 
exhale, we're gonna mount. And this takes us just into our wide straddle forward bend. Let your forearms relax down towards the mat. And let's press down into those foundational hands. Push, 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 push. Try raising your heels. And then we'll press our heels. And I want you to bend your knees and try pulling your tailbone down. And then let's push the arms and the legs straight again. Inhale, look out with your flat back. As we exhale, let's open the arms. There's our airplane. And then let's inhale and rise to standing. Palms facing open to the sky. Feet a little wider than hips. Toes and heels out. Five pointed star. Good, now let your palms rotate to face forward and start bringing them closer together. Once your hands have met, lace our fingers, press our index fingers together, breathe across upper back and back shoulders. And then let's bend the elbows so the forearms and the elbows meet and lift them so they stay shoulder level. Let's inhale, extend to the sky. Allow your upper arms to frame your ears. Chin fall to your chest. Bring the head back to neutral and come back into your star. Now we're ready to turn left toes to the front end of our mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. We're going to keep the front of our body facing the side of our mat and then bend that left knee. Look out past your left hand, warrior two. So in that left foot, we're pressing down to second, third, and fourth toe knuckles. Extend out through that left arm. Now lift the left as you lower the right, turning that palm to the sky, reverse warrior. Let's pull the left leg straight, pushing out through the heel of that left hand. There's our reverse triangle. and then bring yourself back to that neutral starting position. And we're ready for triangle pose. Imagining that we're pressing against the wall. We're gonna start pulling right hip right, reaching out through that left arm. So it's gonna reach away from your right hip. Once you can't go any farther, lower the left and lift the right. Breathe away any tension that you're holding in your shoulder or your neck. As we exhale, go ahead and bend that left knee. Let's revolve the upper body, returning to the ball of your right foot so we're in our lunge. We're gonna press down through that right hand, inhale, left arm to the side. Exhale, let's revolve at the waist. There's our twisting lunge. Exhale that hand back down. Step your left foot back, hold your plank. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lengthen, rising into cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank and exhale, down dog. Giant step forward with that right foot. Brings us back into lunge. Push your left heel down, turn your left toes out. Align your right heel with your left heel and start lifting up the body. So for warrior one, we want to keep the front of our body facing that front end of our mat. Add your arms when ready. Let the arms come forward. Stay long in the waist. Pull your ribs towards your front thigh. 
Return your hands to the mat. Lift to the ball of your left foot. Push your weight forward onto your right foot as you're straightening your right leg. Extend your left leg behind you. Hip level, and there's tripod balance. You can remain like that or align your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Rolling our left hip open, adding that left arm towards the sky. Exhale the left hand down if it's lifted. We'll step the left foot in. Big toes close, heels apart. Start to bend your knees and as you're doing that, you're sinking your hips, you're pulling your knees closer together, and then you're gonna lift your ribs away from your thighs. Extend the arms alongside your ears, and there's your chair pose. Let's inhale and rise from our chair. Exhale, hands return to the heart. Inhale again, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Step the left foot back into lunge. Walk yourself around into your wide straddle. Toes are either straight ahead or turned in slightly. Hands directly under shoulders. Inhaling for flat back. Exhaling as we melt. See if you can feel yourself go a little deeper. down into your palms, arms get straighter and straighter. Once again, let's try raising heels. Crossing the heels down, bending your knees and pulling your tailbone down. Push the legs straight, cross through those palms. Inhale, flat back, look out. Exhale, open the arms for airplane. And then inhale, rise to standing. Once we're up, we've got our palms facing open to the sky. Five-pointed star. Feet a little wider than hips, toes in, heels out. Rotate your palms to face forward. Again, let's bring the hands together. Let them, all of your fingers place, cross through your index fingers. And then bend the elbows so the forearms and the elbows meet. Inhale, start reaching to the sky. Let your chin fall to your chest. Bring the head back to neutral. Stretch longer out of the waist, side bend to your right. Inhale, back up and side bend to your left. Inhale, lift again. And exhale, return to star. Turn your right toes to the front end of your mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. Staying tall and open, start bending the right knee. Comes out over the ankle without going past our toes. And we're gonna feel our weight pushing into our second, third, and fourth toe knuckles on that right foot. Stretching long. Now extend that right arm a little farther. Let's lift the right as you lower your left. Turning right palm to the sky. Reverse warrior. Pull the right leg straighter and straighter without locking. Pressing through the heel of your hand. Reverse triangle. Bringing ourselves back to our start position. And now visualizing our bodies pressed against the wall as we get, uh, start pulling our left hip to the left and reaching that right hand away from the left hip, going as far as we can in either direction and then ultimately lowering that right hand and lifting the left. Breathing out any tension that you might be holding in your shoulder or your neck. Take one more inhale. 
On the exhale, we start to bend the right knee. We revolve the upper body, lifting to the ball of our left foot, brings us back into our lunge. Then let's keep pressing down through that left hand. Inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at our waist for twisting lunge. Exhale that hand down. Step the right foot back. There's our good sturdy plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, toes tuck. Press back up into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Let's step that left foot forward between the hands bringing us back into lunge, and then pushing our right heel down, turning those right toes out, aligning our left heel with the back of our right heel, and then start lifting upper body. Keeping our hip bones facing forward, adding arms when ready, warrior one. Let your arms come forward. Stay long in the waist and Pull your ribs towards your thighs. Let your hands return to the mat. Lift onto the ball of your right foot. Step the right foot forward. Big toes close, heels apart. We're bending our knees, sinking those hips down into that tiny chair. While we do that, we're pulling the knees closer, lifting our ribs and allowing our arms to frame our ears. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, hands to our heart. From there, let's extend the arms long at our sides and assume mountain pose. So we're gonna find a focal point for our eyes. Fixate on that spot. Shift your weight into your right foot. And then try crossing your left ankle atop your right thigh. So your legs form the number four. Let your hands press at your heart and then try bending that right leg. So you're gonna sinking down. Let's uncross and rise back up. Good, and then return. Mountain pose. Same thing other side, find that focal point, feel those abdominals holding tight, shifting your weight into your left foot, and then placing your right ankle on your left thigh, like the number four, hands together at your heart, bend that standing leg. Back down, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's inhale, reach to the sky. This time, exhale, bring just the arms. Let them come together behind us, hook together. Roll the shoulder blades together, and as you're doing that, pulling down with your knuckles. Spread that heart center open. Tip your head back just enough to open your throat. Let's inhale back to neutral. And then as we exhale, begin to hinge forward. Think about pulling ribs towards thighs. Once there, let your head drop. Lift your arms higher and higher. Breathe. Exhale, let your hands release. Fingertips drift down. Good. From there, we're going to step back. Right foot, left foot. Hold on to that good, strong plank. Let's keep left shoulder over left wrist. Remember that foundational hand. Turn it open for side plank. Modify to the side of your knee if you'd like.
come back around into that full plank. Press back up into down dog. Again, inhale, return to plank. Right shoulder over right wrist, opening. Five plank. Exhale back around into full plank and pressing back up into down dog. From there, let's go ahead and ease to our knees. Separate those knees, big toes touching, push back. With that tailbone, drop your chest to your knees, forehead to the mat. Send out through your fingers, palms facing up. Let's take your left arm, pass it through the right armpit as you sink your shoulder down. Bring the arm out, we'll switch. Passing that arm. Bring your arm back out, press back a little further. And then from there, we're just gonna ease forward onto our forearms. So our shoulders are over our elbows. Let's walk our feet back and hang out in forearm plank. So we wanna make sure we don't sink down into the shoulders. We're not allowing our hips to sag. Got a nice tight belly, but relax the buttocks. From there, let's ease to the knees. We're gonna walk our hands in towards the knees. And let's come right up onto both knees. Once that's done, we're gonna take our left leg to the side. Align your ankle with the side of your knee, your hip and your shoulder. Let your toes point straight ahead. Then we're gonna extend the right arm towards the sky. And start inching that left hand down the outside of your leg. Wanna keep the right arm straight up. So this is our gate, and that right side of your body is representing the gate post. And then let's lift back up. Let the arms float down. Hands return to the mat. Come on to all fours. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale, round for cat. Make your way back to neutral. Walk the hands in closer so again we can lift back to that kneeling position, switching sides. So now we'll extend the right leg, toes point straight ahead. Ankle, side of the knee, hip, shoulder aligned on the right side, knee, hip, shoulder aligned on the left side. Let's extend that left arm towards the sky and start inching your right hand down the outside of your leg. And then we'll bring ourselves back up. Let the arms come down. Hands return to the mat. Return to all fours. Navel sinks down. We lift our tailbone. We lift our head. We open our heart. And then we exhale and scoop in deeply for our cat stretch. And then we're back to neutral. From there, transition yourself around. And let's go ahead and keep our left leg straight. Place our right ankle on our left thigh. So again, we're forming the number four with our legs. While we're doing that, we're gonna use that right hand to push on that inner right thigh, breathing into that outside hip and inner thigh. Good, now see about keeping the legs in the same position, but hands on either side of your straight leg and try to inch your ribs towards those cross legs. Let's inhale our way back up. Keeping that right knee bent, we're gonna place the foot on the floor, walk that heel closer to your body. 
want to make sure both of our sit bones are on the mat. And then let's take the left arm, we're going to wrap it around the bent right leg. Inhale, sitting taller and straighter. Exhale, rotate at your waist so you can look over your right shoulder. And then as we exhale, let's untwist. We'll stretch that leg out straight. You can bounce your knees up and down a couple times. And then just let them rest there. Hands on either side of both legs. This time we're going to pull forward. Draw your rib cage closer to your thighs. Let your head drop last. And then let's inhale our way back up. And we'll take our left ankle this time. Place it on our right thigh. And use that left hand to push gently on that inner thigh until you're really feeling some stretch in the outside of your hip. And then let's ease up a little bit. Rest your hands on either side of that straight leg. And again, pull forward. So you're just going to deepen the stretch that you're feeling in your hip. Let's come back up, keeping that knee bent, place your foot on the floor. Bring your foot in as close to your body as you can, sit bones on the mat, wrap that right arm around the bent left knee, inhale taller and straighter, exhale rotate at the waist, even go a little farther to look over that shoulder. Exhale and twist. Go ahead and stretch your legs out once again. Knees can bounce up and down. Let them rest. Hands on either side. Pulling forward. See if you can get a little bit farther. And then we'll inhale back up. And then once we've made it up, let's bend both of our knees, let the bottoms of our feet press together. Pull your heels in closer to your body. Let your feet rest in the palms of your hands. And then we're gonna actively think about pulling the knees towards the mat, keeping the shoulders from rounding the head up and breathe. Take one more inhale. Exhale, relax a little bit. And let's make our way back into our Taylor style position. Opening palms to the sky, back of our hands resting softly on our knees. And just breathe. Breathe away any tension that remains in the body. Breathe away any of those distracting thoughts. And let that chin fall to the chest once again. And then just roll from ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Again, let your chin rest on your chest. And then slowly come back up. Once there, hands together at your heart. Draw your wrist under your armpits, opening your throat, opening your heart. Sweep the arms around, backs if your hands meet. Back in. Sweep around. Once more, sweep around. Good, and then let your hands come back to your heart. Let's inhale, open the arms and the heart. And exhale, let your hands come together. All right, we made it. That was our Pilates yoga combination for this morning. Don't forget, lots of hydration. Keep your muscles nice and juicy. Spreading around random acts of kindness all willy-nilly. Make sure you mask up when you're out and about around others, especially in 
confined spaces, even if you're vaccinated. Um, I thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tonight to let you know what's taking place tomorrow. And I hope you have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.